My name is Anna Katarina Keisler and I'm a Development Studies PhD student at Technical University of Lisbon and this poster summarizes some of our, of our um, main findings in our research about uh, the effects of globalization on income inequality in less developed countries. In literature discussion uh, about the benefits and costs of globalization and the effects of this phenomenon on inequality and poverty in developing countries lead us to conclude that using uh, different measurement units, different data sources, different countries or group of countries uh, and diverse periods of time leads empirical work to contradictory results. Some authors argue that globalization has negative effects on income inequality, other point to positive effects, while others find no statistical evidence of any effect. To contribute to this discussion, um, an econometrical model was developed um, establishing a matrix with 35 countries uh, considered by the World Bank as the least developed ones. Um, and data covers a 16 years period since 1995 to 2010. Um, our dependent variable, we, for our dependent variable, we use the Gini. Um, from the um, suite, which is the standardized income inequality database from developed from uh, by uh, Frederick Salt. Um, and for the measurement of globaliza globalization and to test if similar results could be found using simple indicators and composite ones, um, we, we used both simple and composite. Um, simple indicators that we use are um, trade openness, uh, reflected by the total weighting of exports as a per percentage of GDP, and foreign direct investment. Uh, the composite indicators that we use, the multidimensional, uh, we use the coffin indi uh, indicator that was developed by Dreher, Gaston, and Martins. Uh, and besides globalization indicators, and because there are other uh, variables that affect uh, inequality, uh, we also used uh, the GDP per capita and, and uh, its square measurement to test the Kuznets hypothesis, as also the inflation rate, economical uh, freedom index, the level of education, the employment rate, international aid, the level of urbanization and also the aging and growth of the population were considered. The estimates were carried out through resource to panel data uh, and a fixed effect estimator. After the selection of the variables, we uh, estimate four equations. The two equations, uh, the f two first equations are equal, uh, similar. The only difference is the first one uses simple indicators, globalization, globalization indicators, and the second one uses uh, the cough index divided in the three uh, components, uh, economical, political, and social. The third and fourth equations are similar as well, uh, having the same uh, differences. Uh, uh, open trade and uh, foreign direct investment in the, the third equation and in the fourth the cough index but here in uh, global terms but the, um, the explanatory variables differ from the two first so um, the findings suggest that as theoretical, uh, uh, theoretically expected uh, globalization measured by the openness of trade of economies uh, will lead to um, a decrease in uh, uh, inequality according to the etcher rolling model and uh, stoppers and uh, theorem. Uh, um, as foreign direct investment is concerned, um, the results are uh, different from the ones theoretically expected. So we didn't confirm the Mundell uh, theory about uh, decreasing uh, inequality, uh, but 
uh, foreign direct investment has to be different on time because there are uh, costs of implementation that are not um, uh, that we can see in this model. So in further research, we'll have that, that into account. Uh, contrary to the prevailing expectations, the cough indicator measured in global terms suggests that globalization leads to a rise in inequality. Uh, the political and the social component of the indicator also brings higher levels of inequality. That means that uh, globalization has uh, more, comp more <laughs> dim dimension, uh, more effects than economical ones. Uh, uh, the other sign signals, almost um, uh, all the variables, had the same theoretical expected sign like in previous studies. The only ones that didn't have was the enrolter, uh, which is the um, number of persons in uh, tertiary education, and also the growth of population. They lead to um, decreases in inequality instead of increases as was uh, theoretically expected. Um, the Kuznets hypothesis, the only equation that shows the Kuznets hypothesis uh, that confirms the third equation, so our results uh, remain contradictory. Um, thank you for your attention. <laughs>